Welcome on into today's NBA pick a video play for March 24th, 2018. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this Eastern Conference match between the Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons. Give our lean on who we feel has the better edge to cover the spread. The Chicago Bulls right now, they haven't been hard tanking, and that's going to cost them come the NBA draft lottery. But there's a lot of things working against the Bulls coming into this rematch against the Pistons. These two teams played against each other. A couple or so weeks ago in Detroit with Chicago looking really bad, especially offensively in that matchup, losing by a final of 83 to 99. But on top of that, the Pistons now have Reggie Jackson working his way back into the lineup, which he wasn't on the court in their prior meeting. And then also Chicago going into the second leg of a back to back. So that's also going to be playing against the Bulls in this one. Chicago right now on the year. They have not been having a lot of success consistently. They did have a stretch there around the mid portion of the regular season where they started to get things on track. And actually, at one point, we're looking like one of the hotter teams in the Eastern Conference, but that didn't last. And not a big surprise for a young team that Chicago has. They knew they were heading into a rebuilding year and pretty much just playing for their draft positioning, hoping to lose as many games as possible, trading away some of their veteran players before the season started. The Bulls on the year 23rd in the NBA in scoring, 25th in total team defense, a negative plus minus of about negative six points. We compare them over to the Pistons and Detroit. They've actually started to look a little bit better. They're implementing Blake Griffin a little bit more effectively, especially offensively. And then also with bringing Reggie Jackson in, we only expect the Pistons to get better from here on out through the rest of the regular season. And of course, the Pistons are not going to be tanking given the fact that they traded away their first round pick for this upcoming draft to get Blake Griffin in their last outing. The Pistons were able to push the Houston Rockets into overtime on the road. And in that one, Detroit fell short in extra time by a final of 96 to 100. This would have been the third win in a row for the Pistons to close out their Western Conference road trip, having already come off back-to-back -back blowout wins against the Sacramento Kings and the Phoenix Suns before that loss to Houston. The Pistons, it's been a disappointing year for them, and they're almost certainly not going to be making the playoffs, which is unfortunate because I feel like this is a team that could have made a run into the postseason if Reggie Jackson hadn't gotten injured. The Pistons, 27th in the league in scoring, 6th in total team defense, and a negative plus minus of about negative one point. So the Pistons are going to be coming back to their home court today after an extended road trip. They've played their last six games in a row on the road out west so they should be happy to get back to little caesars arena and like i said these two teams played against each other not all that long ago it was actually the matchup that the pistons had last on their home court before they went on that six game road trip so the pistons knowing that they can beat this bulls team they picked up that victory by 16 points and now they have even more going into their favor for this rematch and also we took the Bulls with the points in that one in their prior outing they kind of burned us with that one with how poorly they played on the offensive side of the ball so we're gonna do a little bit of a revenge pick here taking the Pistons giving those 11 and a half points as the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. If you disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our NBA plays for today over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.